Hello, so we were going to go through and answer this question. The problem wanted to know the z-scores that separated the middle 31% of the normal distribution. So here we have the normal curve, and here we have indicated the middle 31%, and we have z-scores on either side that are the boundary of this middle 31%, okay? So we have to go through and figure out a few things before we can answer this question and use technology. So what is the area in the tail? So the whole curve has 100% of the area, and we're going to take away the 31% in the middle. So we have 69% that are in the curves. Half of this area is in each of the different tails. So we have 69 divided by 2, which is 34.5%. So now we have more information. We have the middle 31%. The left tail is 34.5% and the right tail is 34.5%. So when we have areas or the percentage or the probability and we want to find the z-score, that's when we use the invnorm function. Um, you can use the normal CDF function when you have the z-score or your data value and you want the probability or the percentage or the area. So you have to know which one to use. So because we are wanting the z-score and we know the area, we're going to use the invnorm. Okay, so invnorm has three different inputs. Um, if you have the most updated TI-84, um, you have, you'll have a, a last um, option. And I'll mention that in a second, but I don't have that on my calculator, so I can't show it to you. Okay, so invnorm, if you have the calculator that I have or an 83, the first input is the area to the left of your z-score or your data value. Then it's going to be the mean, then it's going to be the standard deviation. Okay, so you go through and you find your invnorm by going second vars, which is our distributions, and you come down to invnorm. Okay, and then they have the area, the mean, standard deviation as your prompts. So my area to the left of this is 0.345, because you make that percentage into a decimal. And because we're finding our z-scores, and not like a data value, like an x value, they're not saying like how many years, we're saying find me the z-score. If they have a unit, you probably will have a different mean standard deviation than 0 and 1. But if you're finding the z-score or you're doing the standard distribution, standard normal distribution, they're going to have a zero for your mean and one for standard deviation. So you come down here, okay? Um, if you have the most um, up-to-date um, TI-84s, you may have another option that says, um, like, which region, it's like the left, right, or center, and you can go through and say what you want. So here, if I use the 0.345, I would have said left because that's the area to the left. You also, if you want to do center, you could do 0.310 0 mean, and then you say the area in the center, and then it would give you two different Z scores that you can go through and look at, okay? Um, I'm gonna assume that you have this calculator. If you don't and you have more questions, come talk to me. So we come down here and we paste it. If you have a TI-83, you'll have to remember this input on your own. Remember it's area to the left, mean, and the standard deviation, and then you push enter, okay? So we have our answer is a negative 0.3989, and it wants it to the nearest um, two decimal spots, so it's a negative 0 0.40. So this z-score is a negative 0.4, okay? Then to find Z2, again, we're going to have to find the area to the left. So we had the area to the right was 34.5%. So we take that away from 100 and we get 0.655. So again, we go to distribution, go to invnorm because we're trying to find the Z score. Then we have 0.655. And then the mean is still zero because we're doing the Z score on the standard normal curve. Standard deviation is one, paste. And then you say enter again, and you have 0.3989. When you get to the nearest decimal is 0 0.40. You may notice that this is positive and negative because the standard normal curve, the Z, the Z normal distribution, 
is centered at zero, and so things are going to be symmetric on both sides. If your mean was not zero, it would not be that. So do not assume that's the case. Okay, good luck.